Good evening. My name is David Slars, and I'm superintendent of schools. And it is my pleasure to welcome you to this extraordinary performance this evening. Those of you who have been here before with other children or friends uh, know what kind of exceptional uh, evening you're going to be led to this evening. And those of you who have not been here before, words can't describe what you're going to experience. It's, it's an experience that the children who perform here this evening will remember for a lifetime. And none of this would have been possible without your support. Your support at home in helping children to understand the importance of the arts and even to have a love of the arts. And knowing that to have a love of the arts and to be talented takes practice, practice, and practice. We also wouldn't be here if it wasn't the support of you and the entire West Hartford community in your support of the arts in all of our schools both the visual and performing arts as well. And for that, I thank you for all of these children who have had that experience. Let me also say that while other communities across the state and across the nation are experiencing financial difficulties and budgetary cuts, unfortunately, the arts comes first on the list, but certainly not here in West Hartford. Across this country, country there are schools and school, school districts that are, that are passionate and concerned about leaving no child left behind academically. And so are we. But we also believe we leave no child behind artistically and musically, as, and as you'll see this evening. And for that, I'm very proud to be a part of this community in this school district. So, without further ado, I welcome you to this program, and now I also welcome you to someone who's not a stranger to those of us in the community that appreciate and love the arts, the Supervisor for the Fine and Performing Arts, Hyde Chaverdian. Thank you. Thank you very much. And let me also welcome you to this wonderful evening of music. You know, Lion King closed here about three days ago, so it's been a quick switch, and we're the first group to occupy Mortensen stage since Lion King. Now, I know I might be a little bit biased, but I think tonight is going to top the Lion King. Tonight you're going to hear music in its purest form, sung and performed by young children. And I'm always fortunate to be here in the morning to watch the rehearsal. And invariably something catches my eye. And today there were three children that I just want to mention briefly, not by name. The first was a young violinist. Now I'm out there and her feet are not touching the ground. They're just dangling back and forth. And the violin couldn't have been more than a, it shouldn't be, wasn't a full size, it might have been a half. So there's this little violin tucked against this little chin and this little body. But when you looked at her, she looked like she was performing for the New York Philharmonic. She had the most professional look with her bow and her violin there and so intent on doing a fine job. Then I watched the singers and of course, there is something just magical about watching a young singer, their heart and soul into the words, watching their conductor, giving everything this child had to that one song they were singing at that moment. And finally, the uh, bass drummer in the finale. Now, Edward Cumming, who's the guest director this evening from the Hartford Symphony, was making some slight changes to the music, and the percussion had to respond. And this boy, his eyes were focused right on Edward. He was intent on not making a mistake. He knew his part was very important. And I'm looking at that and I'm saying, does it get better than this? We have such high expectations for our students, not only academically, but as David said, in the arts as well. But we can't take nights like tonight for granted. 
This is a grand accomplishment for the children, for you, for the music teachers, for families, for everyone who supports music and the arts. That families have been celebrating in Terrell for over 50 years is a tribute to the community and certainly would not have happened if we hadn't had visionaries in the past and still today who say no child shall be left behind in the arts as well as the academics. I had, I had an interesting little quick anecdote for you that I'd like to share before I announce the program. Last year as I was walking out, someone stopped me and said, this person wants to see you right away. And I went out into the lobby and someone said, young man, now, that doesn't happen very often to me. As you can see by my hair. And I turned around and this woman said, you had my son when you had long black hair. <laughs> that's a while back. Uh, her son had been in Interrell, and now her grandchild had been in Interrell. And it was that long history that just makes us feel so proud to work and sing and play in this community. So I know Verizon has told you to take care of your cell phones. I as well wanted to tell you that make sure those beepers and pagers and anything else is off, especially those cell phones that play Latin music and disco and the first movement of Beethoven's ninth. And I want you to join me in making this night a very special night for your children. These years pass all too quickly, and this is a precious moment to remember. So put aside what you had to do today at work, and what you have to do tomorrow at work or at home, and enjoy this wonderful music. Let it be a lasting memory for both you your family, and your child. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the Star Spangled Banner and join me in welcoming the 2006 Interrail Orchestra.
throw the word backstage. I'm bigger than I thought. The word backstage is that you are an awesome audience. I just heard that. We're getting prepared to do our finale. The first thing I have to tell you is the most important. Your children will exit through the auditorium to the lobby. So you can meet them here in the house if you like, or in the lobby, whichever. But they won't be going out any side doors, straight here or through the lobby. Some people I'd like to thank. Ray Torrance, our Interrail coordinator, for many years done a terrific job. And I'm gonna run through a list now. The Bushnell staff here is always great to work with. We especially appreciate Sarah Oberg, who we work with directly, but everybody from the ushers to the people backstage are terrific to work with. In my... I've learned better than to ask people to hold their applause. If you feel so inclined, go for it. Uh, in my office, I especially want to thank Deb Berman and Terry Anselmo, who do all the communication to the parents. Hundreds and hundreds, amounting to thousands of pieces of paper, go out to make sure you know what's going on between the teachers and the rehearsals. And they put together the program and proof it and make sure it gets done. Special thanks to Terry and Deb. I'd like to thank Scott Porter from Conard, who always comes and records all of our concerts. He always takes the extra night, sets it up, makes it work so we can have recordings for our kids and memories for you as well. Scott Porter. Now I'd like to just say a few words about our conductors and managers. This is a, a very long-term process from audition to selecting the music, the meetings, and the many, many rehearsals that go on to make this performance possible. The teachers in the home schools who help or perform as they did this evening, but the bulk of the work falls to our conductors and managers. And it's their passion and love for what they do that really instills what happens tonight. Not just the notes and the rhythm, but the heart and soul that goes into it. So I'd like to have a special round of applause for all of our conductors, managers, and accompanists. This year we have two of our staff members retiring. Both came to the West Hartford schools in the 70s. So we're talking around 30 years <laughs> or so. We're talking about 30 years or so of time in the West Hartford schools. Um, Sally Faraby, been teaching at King Philip for a while now. Sally is what I call the lifelong mentor. Even in her last year here in West Hartford, she's been mentoring other students. And I hear more often from the teachers who come in to our district that what they carry away, those lessons and that great idea comes from Sally. Personally, Sally sends me an email that is a full page, single spaced every week at least once a week. 
And in it, she sends me her gift for the week. And it's usually a story about some child or about some class and something special that happened that day. And she sends the gifts along. Sometimes they're sad. Most often they're about that moment of breakthrough when someone finally sings in tune or gets an idea. Sally has been a great asset to the West Hartford schools and her passion and love for music is in thousands of children. I'd like to thank Sally Farabee. Are you out there, Sally? Patty Donahoe, who is our guest conductor for the choir this evening, is no guest to West Hartford either. She's been in the system since the 70s as well. And Patty has always had a special place in her heart for her students. She's never separated the music. It's always been part and parcel. Even this afternoon, as I was talking to her this morning at the rehearsal, we were talking about kids, about the impact they have had on her and what she will take. Some teachers wind down at the end of their careers. Patty has wound up. She has taken her Conard students and they actually sang at St. Peter's in the Vatican this year. They did the music, that alone. The Conard musical commissioned piece by our very own Rob Hugh and countless other things she's brought. She always has a calm sense with her and always brings that love to everything she does. Patty Donahoe. Okay, well, we're ready for the finale. We have a very, very special guest director for the instrumental ensembles. A few months ago at the Middle Festival, backstage, peering through the area backstage, was Edward Cumming, the director of the Hartford Symphony. His child was actually on stage performing. He was rehearsing in this hall and left his rehearsal so he could watch the performance. It was that that point, I thought, boy, that would be great if he could come and direct our kids in their finale tonight. So he readily agreed. He's going to direct the finale, America the Beautiful. I should tell you ahead that we're going to do it twice, and we expect you to sing with loud voice the second time around. Ms. Donahoe will help you with your entrances. We expect some good loud singing. Once again, thank you for being such a wonderful audience for special memories. Let's welcome Edward Cumming directing the finale. <laughs> 